holiday everyone. I'm here with Yitzhak. Hello. Mitai. Say hi to the camera. Hi. And no. No. Well, it is a perfect sunny day here in New York. And it's sort of a family tradition to visit the zoo every year in springtime. So we are here at the Bronx Zoo. Okay, another one here. Thank you, Taman. Come on. Hold it. Get up. You don't have another quarter day? Good job. You need one more quarter. Okay, we're a bit of a young. Food for the animals? Let's go. Yeah. Good job. Good job, Mitai. Look at me! Naina! Look at me! Wow. 
niet. Ik heb het niet What is it, Nitai? It's a huge alligator. No, um, it's a fishy. Fish. Fish. <laughs> bye bye, Fishy. Bye bye. bye, bye. Oh, right there, look. Oh, 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 oh. He's on a business showing off. Look, look. I was showing you to come here and look. America, come here. Can you, can you pass me my Pepsi? There are some special guests today at the zoo. Which one? <laughs> Say it loud, I don't think they heard you. Dinosaurs! See? It's like three hours line. Two hours. How crazy this is. But what do you say? Maybe we'll go home. Maybe we won't see the. It's not an hour, still, because it's less than an hour. An hour is more than one day. Yeah, you're right. Because it's not an hour. 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 <laughs> okay, let's wait.
hours later we're still in the line daddy you look exhausted <laughs> The Stegosaurus has big spikes, has big spikes, has big spikes. The Stegosaurus has big spikes on its back and tail. The Uncover the secret lives of ancient dinosaurs. As some of you may know, paleontologists are scientists that study fossils. Today we are going to see scenes brought to life by real fossil evidence so we can see what dinosaurs were doing back in their time. And I also want to note that though all these dinosaurs weren't alive at the exact same time and place, those in their individual scenes were. So I want us all to keep our field guide handy so we can keep up with all the amazing animals with us. So they they could overthrow their larger prey like the Tenophosaurus. Can we think of any modern animals who behave in this way? Well, it reminds me of African wild dogs and how they hunt in groups to take down the large wildebeest. Pretty interesting ancient dinosaurs working together. What will we discover next? Oh, I think I see another dinosaur over there. Oh, yes, look at the teeth on that one. I hate to be on its bad side. Looks like it's a lucky day for a group of scavengers. It seems like a pack of Majumbasaurus have found a Repetosaurus to scavenge on. Fossil evidence show that like Commander Jack and the Majumbasaurus may have taken bites out of each other while sharing a carcass. Today, for the herbivore lovers in the group, a Repetosaurus has escaped the family of carnivores. Wow! This dino group is being 50 feet long, this is the largest on any dinosaur. And we are coming up to a group of adult Pentaceratops. The Pentaceratops looks familiar as it is a relative of the Triceratops, but it has five horns instead of three. Oh, and there's also a baby. So many large mouths of these, this family may have to migrate for fresh meat. Wow. Same American bison. Now, do all these dinos look like the same species? I've seen three different kinds of dinos. Over here on the left, at 30 feet, is the Tunosaurus. And at the right, the Datasaurus at 45 feet. And up ahead, one of my favorites, at 60 Please sit down. Please sit down, or we will not continue the ride. Thank you. Is the Omegasaurus. This reminds me of African lanes and how zebra gazelle and giraffe are all over the same place because they eat different plants at different heights. All this is closely, we can hear the call of two parasol elephants. The parasol elephants had a crest on top of its head. Let's amplify the call. And we have heard like elephants and whales. Can you hear it? It keeps us to talk to each other, scare off danger, or even attract a mate. And Look speaking of attracting a mate, we are coming up to two Cosmoceratops with their elaborate crest that kept them all clean. Weren't used for defense because they weren't sturdy enough, so they used it 
to attract the males. The males and females display these elaborate forms, but the question is who is trying to attract who? Oh, I think I hear the calls of two little species on, lurking and looking for eggs to eat. Specific Myasaura eggs. Myasaura kept their eggs in nesting colonies, and like flamingos, they incubated their eggs in rotting plant matter and fed this plant matter to the babies until they were strong enough to walk on their own. But luckily, all the babies' parents are on guard because the Truidon look very, very hungry. Alright everyone, are we enjoying the dinosaurs so far? Yeah. It seems that there are lots of dinos that we've never even heard of, but what are we going to see next? <gasps> what is that around the corner? Uh, I want you all to be very excited because it looks like a battle of the titans! Ding 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 ding! Two male Tyrannosaurus Rex fighting it out for dominance much like male gorillas do today. Gorillas don't always get along, we don't always get along, and ancient dinos definitely didn't always get along. Also, evidence shows bite marks on the T-Rex that indicates they may have lived in groups, fighting heads and faces. The males and females may have even fought in courtship. Now that would be quite a love bite. <laughs> Let's let them fight amongst themselves. Pay no attention to the humans in the cart. We are not produce. <laughs> and just like modern animals, watering holes bring to us different species and different dinos. Over here on the right, we are approaching the large armored tarpia, yeah. making its way to the water for a drink. And over here on the left are two gallimimus. One is looking right at us, and they resemble today's ostriches. You can see from looking at them why I say birds are modern dinosaurs. And up ahead we are approaching two pterosaurs perched near the water, hunting for fish. Did you know that pterosaurs aren't actually dinosaurs? They are prehistoric flying reptiles. How lovely, what a wonderful harmonious gathering of species but however these gatherings were not always peaceful and harmonious. Fossil evidence shows a violent encounter between the Allosaurus and the Stegosaurus. This reminds me of tigers and how they use the watering hole to ambush their prey. So who do you all think is going to win? My money's on the Stegosaurus. And now we pass the beautiful calming lake Sometimes we can see modern dinos like ducks and cranes, but I don't want you all to get too comfortable because danger could be in the water as well. Watch out for the Spinosaurus! It was not the heaviest meat-eating dino, but it was the longest from head to tail. And please sit down! And it prowled at the bottom of lakes and swamps, hunting for fish like crocodiles do. Oh, the one in its mouth, it's still alive! Well, I'm happy it's letting us row right on by. Right, everyone, what did we think about the secret lives of dinosaurs? It seems they are a lot more like modern animals than we have come to believe. Dr. Leakey, we have made it back. Okay, go find some bones, some dinosaur bones. Working hard. So, <laughs> we waited almost three hours on the line, but we did. We saw the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs and it was worth it. It was great. 
Nitai, did you my, like the dinosaurs? Yeah, my favorite is the. Uh, Which one? T Rex. <laughs> Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> Bye!